Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Greenhouse. I'm going to teach you today how to make a cute frog. This lesson has been requested by my friend Elizabeth and I'm so excited to share it with you all. We are going to need a piece of scrap paper to practice drawing our frog, some green construction paper, if you don't have any green construction paper, you can always draw your frog on a piece of white paper and then paint it or color it in green. Don't have to have the construction paper, but I have some, so I'm going to use that uh, for my final frog. Some additional white scrap paper. And let's see, what else are we gonna need? A pencil, some scissors, some glue. A glue stick will work or Elmer's school glue, either one. And then you'll need a black crayon or a black marker. Okay, first we're gonna practice drawing the frog. I'm going to practice with my piece of white scrap paper and my pencil. If you have a dry erase board at your house, that would be a great place to practice too. Use the dry erase board. Okay. Let's see, we're gonna draw our frog. First things first, we need a big oval right in the middle. That's gonna be the frog's body. Now here's a really easy way to draw a big oval. If you put your hand down in the middle of the paper and you draw up and over and back down, like a rainbow, up and over and back down, or a hill, that will be the start of your oval, and we'll, it will ensure that you're making the right size oval. What you shouldn't do is trace up against the fingers. That will not make an oval. That will make an outline of your hand. So remember, do not trace up against your fingers. You're gonna go up and over and back down. So here I go. Up and over and back down. There's the t start of my rainbow or my hill. This is the top of my oval. You see it on there? Kind of hard to see. I'll go on it a little bit darker. There you go. Then I'm just going to do a U underneath here to close up the oval. Oh, that's a great looking oval. I hope you liked that technique of how to make an oval. Next step, we're gonna put two round eyes at the top of our frog's body. You can draw the eyes any way you want. And then any kind of smile, you might have a tongue hanging out. So far, so good. Now we have to add the big hopping legs on the sides. And if you think about this being half of a heart or a big C, that's gonna help you. So either half of a heart or a big C down here at the bottom outside edge of your oval. Those legs look good. Now we're going to attach the feet to the bottoms of these shapes here and here. Think about the letter V, but we're gonna turn the letter V to the side and we're gonna come out this way. Do you see how that looks like? The letter V, but we've turned it to the side and then we're gonna close it up here and we're gonna do the letter V here close it up. Then we have to do the front feet and I'm going to do an upside down letter V or an A without this line in it. Close that up so it's just about like a triangle there. And then one here. Close it up. Then we have to do the legs. Those are the front legs. 
And I hadn't thought about this, but one of my students gave it toes, and now I think it's so cute with the toes. So I think we should add circles for the toes. He looks good. That was a great practice. Now I'm gonna do it again on my green piece of paper. This time, I'm gonna start with my black Sharpie. You might wanna start with your pencil and then outline it with your Sharpie or with your black crayon. Again, remember, we're gonna go up and over our hand, curve under to complete that oval. Now I'm actually gonna cut out eyes out of my white piece of scrap paper later. So I'm not gonna put eyes on there yet. I'm gonna skip that. I am gonna, however, add the mouth and the tongue and the half a heart on this side and the half a heart on this side. The V's that have been turned to the side the front V's for the front feet, and then those legs coming up, and of course the toes. Okay, now I'm gonna use my scissors and I'm going to cut him out. When you're cutting with scissors, your thumb goes in the little hole two fingers go in that big oval. If you keep your thumb towards the sky and cut, you're gonna have the best success. I'm gonna start over here, and I'm just gonna cut around out, a little bit outside that black line. Again, if you drew this with pencil on your green paper, you might wanna go back and outline with a black marker or a black crayon. Notice how I'm turning the paper as I cut. This is helpful too, instead of trying to turn my hand as I cut, turn the paper as you cut. Keep your hand in one place with the thumb in the air. If this gets to be too much here, I'm just gonna take that chunk off. I might use this for another art project. That's still a good piece of paper. I'll put that in my scrap box. Then I'm going to finish coming around here. Now these toes and these feet can be kind of hard to cut between. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna cut around all the feet and then I'm done. Next is the eyes. And I have a trick to cutting out circles. Circles can be hard. One thing you could do is trace some circles and cut them out. But here's a trick. If you take, oh, that's a little too big. If you take a piece of white paper and you cut out a square. See the square? Here's another square. Okay, I've got two eyes. Oh, I could make him have square eyes, I guess. But what if I wanted to turn those squares into a circle? I'm gonna start by cutting off all the corners. And how many corners does a square have? Four, that's right. I'm gonna cut one, two, three, four. Okay, it's looking better, but now we have an octagon, not a square. I've cut off little pieces, four corners. There's my four corners. Keep up with those, because we're gonna make sure those get, get into the trash can. Now I'm gonna cut again. Now this time I'm gonna cut a smaller cut, and I'm gonna cut all eight corners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh man, look! There's like a great circle. This looks like little tiny fingernail clippings or something. I'm keeping them all on there because I don't want to make a mess. I'm going to throw those in the trash can. All right, let's do this one. One, two, three, four. Now we get to cut again, smaller this time, eight. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh man, these look good. I'm gonna take this, it's like a tray. I'm gonna use my frog like a tray. I'm gonna throw these scraps in the trash. Gotta keep a clean art space. Then I can use my black crayon or my Sharpie to make these into eyes. You can do them any way you want. I'm going to add a dot of glue. You can use a glue stick or white glue. Either one will work fine. And again, if you did this on white paper, I would color this in first whatever color you want your frog to be, either with paint or crayons or markers, and then glue the eyes on top. I wouldn't glue the eyes on and then color it. Then I'm gonna stick these guys here. Oh man, is he cute? Hello. Now, here's an extra thing you can do. You could get another piece of paper and create a background for him. You could paint a pond or make like a little wooded scene with crayons or pencils just using a white piece of paper and then glue him down into an environment. You might need to research where frogs live and then create an environment to glue him down and that's a little extra bonus. I can't wait to see your work. As always you can email me a picture of your finished work at a greenhouse at acs.ac. I hope you have a fun time creating your frog. Stay creative and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.